Welcome to this new edition of QPR product videos. I'm Thea from QPR Software. Today I would like to show you how to read QPR Process Analyzer flowchart analysis. In this video, we will take a quick look at the flowchart analysis and see what kind of information you can read from it. We'll go through the process as it is shown in the flowchart and look at how the animation and benchmarking features work. The flowchart analysis shows you how the process runs in reality from start to finish. Our example data for order to cash process consists of 106 cases and 635 events. The process starts from the sales order. Each blue box represents an event type, a single activity within the process. The number of cases going through a certain event is shown at the bottom of each box. In this example, all cases go through the sales order, so 100% is shown here. Information on the number of cases moving to the next event with the duration is shown next to the arrows in the process flow. The thicker the arrow, the higher the volume of cases. You can use attributes to have more information displayed on the flowchart. For example, let's select product grouped from the attributes. Now the three most common product groups for sales order are shown in the flowchart. Next, we will look at the process in a more detailed level by going to the settings pane and decreasing the minimum flow volume to zero. Now you can see all the alternative routes for the order, including deviations. You can visualize the process flow by selecting animation from the settings. Now you can see how the different cases move within the process, helping you to demonstrate possible issues and bottlenecks. Going back to flowchart, let's take a look at where the process ends. You can see that 91% of the cases end at payment received. What happens to the rest? The flowchart shows that some of the cases are lost along the way and the rest end up in return with notification. Benchmarking can be used to compare processes and process variations. You can use different case attributes to see how the process goes for each attribute value. In this case, we'll select region as case attribute. When you scroll down and compare the process per region, you can discover that Chicago has the highest percentage of returns with notifications. This is the first step of process analysis with QPR Process Analyzer. From here you can go to more detailed analysis. 